for station fluid. The extracellular fluid back in most species, excluding the fluid within the lymph and blood vessels. Formation. Hydrostatic pressure is generated by the systolic force of the heart. It pushes water out of the capillaries. The water potential is created due to the ability of a small solutes of pass through the walls of capillaries. This buildup is of solute induces osmosis. The water passes from a high concentration of water outside the vessels to a low concentration inside of the vessels in an attempt to reach an equilibrium. Important. Interstitial fluid is a thin layer of fluid which surrounds the body cells. Interstitial fluid has become useful in the monitoring of glucose levels in people with diabetes. Role of interstitial fluid. Well, interstitial fluid acts like a kind of pooling station in terms of nutrients for our cells. Two, interstitial fluid contains glucose salt, fatty acids, and minerals such as calcium, magnesium, and potassium. Composition. Interstitial fluid consists of a water solvent containing sugar, salt, fatty acids, amino acids, coenzymes, hormones, neurotransmitters, and as well as waste products from the cells. The composition of tissue fluid depends upon the exchange between the cells and the biological tissue of the blood. Interstitial fluid and blood sugar levels. The glucose level in interstitial fluid is not quite the same as that in our blood, so a continuous glucose monitor will apply a formula to give a close guideline of what our blood glucose level is likely to be at that point in time. Physiological function. Interstitial fluid bathes the cells of the tissues. This provides a means of delivering materials to the cells' intercellular communication, as well as removal of metabolic waste. The extracellular matrix. The interstitial fluid. The major types of protein in the matrix are structural proteins and adhesive proteins. Function. Contain the nutrients necessary for cell function. Electrolytes, carbohydrates, amino acids, lipids. Functions as a support of the tissue giving form and structure.